Okay, this is the uh, practice test for Algebra 2. This is question number 5. It's one of the ones that was asked about. Um, the question asks to find the uh, correlation coefficient. So the first thing I'm going to do is look at the table and the chart and see if there's anything I can gather from them. Uh, the convenience of the, the chart versus table is to tell me how I can deal with the numbers. So in this case, I have calories per piece of fruit and the water content. You'll see that these are in percentages, but over here, they convert those percentages into regular numbers. The value of that is I know that when I go into the calculator, I don't have to mess around with a list that has 85% in it. I could just use 85. So anyway, I go into the list, turn it on. I already made the list, so let me quit out to show you how to get there. If you need to go to a list or to mess with it or to edit it, hit this button, it's the stat button, because you're going to edit those lists. And I've already got it written out, because I just thought it would be a good idea to go ahead and do it. That way you sit here and watch me press in numbers. So make sure that all of them match. And then you can quit out of there. Now I'm going to analyze the data a little bit to find the correlation coefficient, which is basically a measure of how close um, all of the points are to making a straight line or a linear equation. So what I'm going to deal with is going in and looking at the stat menu. If I have two variables, uh, there's only there's a few options that I can use. What I'm going to look at here is a linear regression. A regression is the actual analysis itself of how close the points are to making a line. So I'm going to go down to linreg ax plus b. I'm going to hit it. I might check the mode really fast just to make sure I'm in degrees. Because if you're in this section and there's numbers and there's no pi or anything, you might want to make sure that it's in degrees or get some weird answer. Anyway. Now I need to tell the calculator which ones to choose, so I'm going to go into um, picking my list, which is second stat, so the list button, pick L1, and the other one, uh, the other set is L2, so second stat, L2. Then I can hit enter. This, uh, this value here, R equals, uh, that's the uh, correlation coefficient that I'm looking for, and it's negative 0.646, so negative 0.65, and B is negative uh, 0.65, so that's the answer to number 5. Sorry, let me show you that one. See, it's negative 0.65. It's tough to tell with the little glare there, but there it is, and it matches up pretty much perfectly with what I have here. You have to be careful uh, about whether it's negative or positive because both those answers are available. You could also sort of tell what the relationship is uh, because the idea of it being negative is that it's going down, and a 99% correlation coefficient, that would be almost exactly a straight line. So not really a straight line here, a little bit of spread. So you could probably do that problem without thinking about it nearly as much, but you know, to be on the safe side, put it in the list and that whole thing. That's number five.